and attempts to prevent you from falling victim to rogue contractors are not crossing the finish line. Yeah, ABC Action News I team reporter Jackie Calloway looks at the reason why lawmakers seem powerless to stop it. Pure hell. In Davenport, Darlene Masturzo's trouble started four months ago over a water damaged kitchen. They said, don't worry, we'll take care of everything for you. We work directly with the insurance company. The contractor asked her to sign an assignment of benefits. The AOB gave him control over the work and her claim. The business ripped out the kitchen and billed the carrier $30,000 for work done on a 500 square foot mobile home. It's out of control. Florida Consumer Action Network's Deputy Director Bill Newton urges lawmakers to rein in AOB abuse. Something needs to be done, but nothing's getting done. I have no sink space, no counter space. 14 months after Wendy it. Snellgrove spotted a leak under her sink and signed an AOB, she and her husband say they are stuck. He said, I'll take care of everything. How much time passed from the time you signed on the dotted AOB line until your kitchen was gutted? Two hours. The Snellgroves say Synergy Property Restoration never provided a quote and hauled away the cabinets before an insurance adjuster could inspect. I would have thought that the very worst case would be to take the kitchen cabinet out yeah. and replace the kitchen cabinet. The couple claims the contractor billed their carrier 26 grand for a minimal amount of damage. I was really shocked. The Snellgroves filed suit against Synergy for damages and the company countersued for breach of contract. I caught up with Synergy Home Restoration by phone. The owner did not want to comment on the Snellgrove case or any of the lawsuits filed in Pasco and Pinellas counties against insurers. House Bill 7015. 2018 marked the sixth straight year the House and Senate introduced bills to curb AOB abuse, then failed to pass either. Because this is a pocketbook issue. Representative Sean Shaw supports AOB regulation. But he opposed the last House bill because it would force homeowners and contractors to pay the insurance attorney's fees if they lose while trying to collect on claims in court. If you lose, you have to pay the insurance company's attorney's fees. You're not going to be able to find an attorney. A sticking point that's crippled progress on an issue that could cost every Florida homeowner in the form of higher insurance rates. AOB lawsuits increased from 20,000 in 2010 to 100,000 last year. I hate assignment of benefits. It should be outlawed. The benefit originally created to help homeowners handle claims needs regulating. But for now, there's no solution in sight. I'm IT team reporter Jackie Calloway taking action for you.